Webheads, can you believe that the Walking Dead comic book series has been completed now for just over a year? Well, I'm about to hit up some of those key issues and find out what they're worth. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you What's It Worth? That's right, guys, this is the video series where I show you part of my collection from a particular series, and we're going to find out what the value of those books are. So where do I get my information from? Well, I get it from ComicsPriceGuide.com. It's the site where you guys can catalog all your comics. You can download the app absolutely for free. You can also go online or you can upgrade your memberships where you can catalog your entire comic book collection. So don't forget to check out comicspriceguide.com. All right, guys, so let's jump in. Let's find out and see what these Walking Dead comic books are worth. All right, guys, so here we go, The Walking Dead. What's it worth? I'm going to show you some about maybe about 24 issues from the first portion of my collection here and then we'll revisit it at another time but we're going to start off today with the walking dead this is issue one not the first print but this is the second print of that series and this was from image first where you could get this book for a dollar at the particular time and now this book at a raw copy is worth ten dollars so not bad for that particular book never expected it to be uh at that value right okay so the next one we're going to be talking about is this uh, px previews issue one uh, of the walking dead now this book's got some pretty good value on it right here uh nice looking cover with rick as he's got this gun to his head and whatnot so this one is pretty cool I think I got this at my comic book shop. Uh, this one at a raw copy is worth $20. All right. So next, we're going to go on to uh, this Wizard World New York Comic Con book. I think that's what this one is. And it's a 10th anniversary book. Um, so this one is not valued quite as high. But again, this one is in my collection. It's a reprint of that you know, first book or that cover or whatnot, the 10th anniversary edition, uh, this one is valued at $6. All right. So next one on the collection here winds up going to The Walking Dead issue 14. Now this is officially the oldest Walking Dead comic book that I actually earn or own, sorry. And uh, this is the one where we get to see them. They're obviously in the prison here, okay, at this particular point in time. Uh, this book is worth $30. So uh, that is pretty cool in my opinion right there. All right, so the next book that I own from The Walking Dead going down the line here is issue 22. So yeah, this one is pretty cool. Um, here we get to see Michonne hooking up with Tyrese, right? And you see Andrea in the background going, oh my God. And I think at the time in this book, Andrea had a thing for Tyrese and uh, she winds up going loco and she winds up killing herself in the series. So really cool looking cover there. Um, this book is worth $20. Again, all these are being graded at just a raw copies because I don't own any CGG any C C G books. And if you have these books, at least you get an idea of what their value is at raw copy form. All right, the next one I earn own in my collection is The Walking Dead. This is issue 23. Interesting cover here as we get to just see it. I think it's Tyrese, right? As he's um all bloodied up and whatnot and I think I think that was his name I can't believe I can't remember out of all the times I've read this book but I think that was his name so yeah really cool looking cover there that book values at $20 so the next ones we go down the line I have issue 24 okay of the series nice cover as Rick just looks like he's kind of going insane or is he dodging a zombie hand like what's happening in that particular cover 
This book raw also goes for $20. All right, next, I had to skip a few issues here. Couldn't fight quite fill in the gaps, but I did find issue 31. Okay, this one has Michonne in there. I do have a reprint of the first appearance of Michonne, but that book ain't worth anything. But this is pretty cool as you get to see Michonne doing battle against all the zombies and whatnot, uh, trying to defend the fence, defend the prison. This book is worth $20. Next, we have The Walking Dead issue 32. That's in my collection. Once again, one of the better covers of this series, so memorable as they're wearing their riot gear trying to stop the zombies from intruding on their prison. Uh, these early issues, they tend to average at $20. So same thing, this one is 20 bucks. Next one, we get to see issue 34 as we get to see Lori and Carl here looking at the zombies beyond the fence. Uh, uh, Lori is pregnant at the time, uh, expecting the birth of, um, is it Judith? You're right. And um, yeah, so pretty cool looking cover there. This book is valued at $16. Next in my collection is issue 35. This is a gross cover as you get to see a zombie's like mouth getting ready to bite in on someone, right? So that's pretty cool. But issue's 35 value is worth 16 bucks. So next we move on to issue 37 of the series. Uh, this is a nice cover. You know, obviously Rick has lost his hand at this time and we get to see him holding his pregnant wife and, and feeling their baby. It's a very kind of peaceful moment in a very dreadful time. So, and their baby's about due. So that's a really nice looking cover for the series. Um, this book is valued at $16. Next, nice looking cover here for The Walking Dead issue 38. This is the next book in my collection that I own. Um, really cool as you get to see him using his sniper rifle to scope in on a, on a zombie and Angie is like right behind him and it looks like she's training him because uh she is actually became a sharp shooter and she was very good at at shooting in the series so cool stuff there all right next book i have in the collection is issue 39 Huh, that's pretty cool. Who is that? I don't even remember that, but they're wearing an apron and it's all bloodied and whatnot. So I have that book. That one's pretty neat. And that one's valued at $26. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. All right, next we have issue 40. Um, <laughs> Rick is just completely surprised here. He's just got blood everywhere. And did you ever wonder in the zombie with all uh, in this zombie book in the Walking Dead books, like they got blood from all the zombies and whatever it is, and they just never got infected. And like, couldn't they get infected if it went in their eyes and stuff like that? I just I always wondered that. But nevertheless, pretty cool issue forty. Book is valued at sixteen bucks. All right, next. Go on to issue 41 here. This is pretty cool as you get to see Rick and is that, who is, is that a zombie on the other side? Looking at each other from opposite ends of the fences. Now that's nice, nice book right there. This book has a value at $18 raw. Next, we have issue 52 in the series. Look at how young Carl is. Right, and he's just like, oh my god, and he's when it, how big the hat is that he's wearing. And as the series has gone along, he's grown up, he's gotten stronger and whatnot. Really cool. He's he's, he's standing up to Michonne. Right, books valued at twelve bucks raw copy. All right, next we have issue fifty four of the series. Um, here we get to see Abraham on here, so he makes his appearance in these in these books at this point. So really cool looking cover as he is blasting through uh, some of these other zombies and whatnot. So that's cool. I like that cover. And so this book is valued at twelve dollars. All right. Next, we have issue 55. Now, I think this was the time when I collected The Walking Dead 
where uh, the books I started getting monthly at this point. And, uh, you know, it was real early on when the series started getting popular. I was able to get those issues below issue 50. So this is nice as it looks like Abraham is uh, patrolling the campgrounds. And then you get to see the zombies approaching in the rear view mirror. Great cover art there. All right, next we have The Walking Dead issue 56. This is valued at $12 raw. Great cover as you get to see Dale and you get to see the twins and you get to see uh, Maggie and Glenn and Rosita. Abraham is shown. Eugene, all these characters on the cover. This is a great cover. Great looking book. And this book is valued at that $12 mark. All right, now we move on to issue 58, okay? And this one is cool as Abraham is holding back Rick as the zombies are attacking him. So that is 58 and um, Morgan returns in the series. So that's what makes this one a little bit more value, I guess, but it's still only $15. Okay, the next one has the first appearance of a zombie herd not such a big thing but nevertheless this book is valued at 15 bucks as you get to see a zombie herd just attacking this uh all these cars so that that's pretty neat there and it looks like it looks like they're not attacking a car it looks like our heroes are trying to drive through the zombie herd so that's pretty neat it's cool to see these books for the first time in a while right all right and then issue 60, as we get to see uh, Rick just shooting all the zombies and there's blood splattering all over the place here. So that's cool. And that book is valued at 15. And then here is the big boy of the day. The last one I'm going to show you, this is issue 61. Um, raw copy, this is valued at $50, as it's got... Um, uh, Father uh, Gabriel on there. And the reason why this book is valued at $50 is because it actually has the first preview of Chew, uh, comic book. And you can see that right there, the Chew preview. So that's why it gives this book its value. All right, Webhead, so I just showed you the first 25 comic books from my Walking Dead series. So here's the question, what's it worth? Well, as of right now, it's worth $433. So in future videos, I will bring you the continuation of the Walking Dead comic book collection and we'll keep a tally of it and we'll find out what it's truly worth. But until then, guys, hopefully you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell. Here's more content right here for you to click on. And until next time, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care and be safe.